I need to like sit down or something because like it's filled with juice. <laughs> I'm gonna put a mess for sure. But the bread so far is extremely good. Oh my gosh, everyone. Oh my gosh, the juice is like so good. You just like drink from the bread. <laughs> Let me go for the meat. This shit is just so freaking good. So what had to happen has happened, obviously. The freaking juice. Oh, I'm such a dumbass, I swear. I was actually, <laughs> I was actually, you know, kind of like anxious about that when I left France, like that I would not be able to like uh, talk to the camera or like, feel shy about like filming myself because like I feel it's kind of narcissistic <laughs> to do so but actually I'm I'm happy to find out that you know I don't feel too uncomfortable or like a shame even though people are truly always staring at me well they always like stare at you when you have like a foreign face so, wait I just had food but when I see those type of delicious, like, stuff filled with meat, I kind of want to go for it. All right. Oh, she Oh, 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 oh. All right. Thanks, God. I broke it by mistake. It's filled with juice. Like, it is, I think it's always filled with juice, so... Let's not put a mess again, shall we? For getting good and it cost it 16 yuan. And what had to happen happened again. Like bite on it and it just like split all over my face. I need some help, I swear I need some help. A stereotype that French people would have on Chinese would be that like, you know, they can be dirty. People do throw things on the floor, but then like so many people are cleaning, so it's good. It's a new day. Uh, sorry, yesterday I didn't film the rest of the day at night because I just didn't have enough uh, storage, <laughs> so I just couldn't film. But anyway, so today I'm gonna go visit an old town called 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 called. How is it called? I never remember. <laughs> Chinese name. Uh, where is it? Oh, Kibao. This neighborhood is so nice, like it feels so peaceful. I took the wrong exit <laughs> from the subway, so now I'm like kind of lost, but it's okay because as I was saying, this neighborhood is extremely nice. It's like a lot, lot, lot less busy than like downtown. It's still in Shanghai, but it's just like, it must be nice hanging out here at night. 
No need to worry. See? The landscape riverside. That must be it. That must be it, right? <laughs> the kind of people uh, who's worried about like you know uh, places being too crowded and way too touristy well don't panic because actually in China it, it, it can get uh, it can get very crowded of course uh, but then like if you walk just like two meters like seriously just like two meters away from those like famous streets you still get like beautiful spots as it's still you know near like what's interesting but like with no one so don't worry about that because uh, Chinese uh, tourists uh, tend to like just stay in the spot itself and they don't go off uh, the beat beaten path so you 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 can enjoy you know beautiful scenery with not too many people Side, which is which is just perfect. <laughs> I love it. I mean, come on, everyone is going crazy there, and we've got this little bridge, which is like like so much more interesting. Those are crickets. <laughs> Like, 